Hi, my name is Jim Felstead. I am a chartered safety practitioner and I work for RRC International. My background is in the food industry. I used to work as a production supervisor in a large industrial bakery outside Sheffield for a company called Northern Foods, making things like white baps, tea cakes and hot cross buns for Marks and Spencers. After working in production supervision for a while, I became interested in occupational health and safety. I got a job as a safety officer at a recipe dish factory in Nottingham, making ready meals. I have followed a fairly traditional qualifications route into health and safety management with a NEBOSH general certificate and a diploma in occupational health and safety. I've worked as a safety manager in food factories both in the East Midlands and South West England. Being a biologist by background and training, I have a particular interest in occupational health and the application of science to occupational health and safety problems. I've been self-employed for a number of years now and have worked for RRC International as one of their associate tutors for over 15 years. Hello and welcome to your NEBOSH General Certificate course. In this short overview, I'm going to tell you what the course is, how the assessment works, and what to do if you need help with any part of the course. Your NEBOSH General Certificate course comes in two parts, Unit 1 and Unit 2. The first part, Unit 1, is concerned with the management of occupational health and safety. It consists of four elements covering topics such as the legal framework, risk assessment, safety culture, and accident reporting and investigation. These four elements are assessed by examination. The second part, Unit 2, is concerned with practical hazards and risk control. So it consists of seven elements covering topics such as fire safety, electrical safety, confined space entry, and chemical safety. These seven elements are assessed by a practical assessment. As you work your way through this course, you will find the online course materials, videos, review questions, discussion forums, and additional resources, all of which have been designed to help you understand the course content and the assessment process. Help on accessing and navigating through the online course is available by clicking on the Getting Started button. So remember to take a look. To gain your NEBOSH General Certificate qualification, you must pass both parts of the assessment. The first part of the course, Unit 1, made up of elements 1 to 4, is assessed by a single written question paper or exam. This exam is two hours long and requires you to write answers to 11 set questions without any access to textbooks or any other study aids. Your exam paper is marked by NEBOSH and the pass mark is 45%. Further information and guidance on the exam is given throughout Unit 1 and it is essential that you take note of and follow this guidance as you work your way through the first four elements. The second part of the course, Unit 2, made up of elements 5 to 11, is assessed by a practical assessment. This practical assessment requires you to carry out a risk assessment exercise in a workplace and record your results on a standard form. This assessment can be completed in your own time, with full access to your textbook and the internet. Your practical assessment is marked by NEBOSH you will either receive a pass or a referral. Your assessment is not awarded a score. Further information and guidance on the practical assessment is given throughout Unit 2. And it is essential that you take note of and follow this guidance as you carry out the assessment. You must pass both parts of the assessment, the exam and the practical, within a five year period to gain the general certificate qualification. I hope that you enjoy your course and that you find the study materials useful. Please remember that you have access to a discussion forum and online tutor support every step of the way, both while you are studying 
and as you prepare for the assessments. I wish you the best of luck with your studies.